I just spoke about this word yesterday, and the word was coward. Coward, coward, coward. I'm going to have to pull it up one more again while y'all listen to this story. Um, I believe that somebody done left Earth. I don't forgot what story he is, but here you go. Family of Deja Allen speaking out after the missing mom's body was found in North St. Louis County. Fox News Zero Barker joins us live. A young missing mom's body has been found, which if y'all look around, I think in 24 hours, there is probably about four different stories of four different people who have been found. Females. Y'all better watch 23, 6, and 9, for real, for real. I have, with the family's cry for justice, zero. Y'all listen to the story. Elliot, this is the tragic ending that Deja Allen's family did not want to hear. And tonight, I sat down with them. They tell me they just want answers. Whoever did it, it's cowards. You know, cowards. There we go with that. And I understand a lot of us, we just use words that we've known our whole life and we really don't go back and look up words. And a lot of times we need to go back and look up a whole bunch of words that we be out here misusing. I'm just saying, like, like, like I am a word guy because I don't know them all. So I just... Coward, a person who lacks the courage to do or endure dangerous or unpleasant things. On day 10 of searching for missing mother of three, Deja Allen, her family found what they didn't want to find. I will always be able to replay that moment. The moment they found their loved one's body. Say night, nice lashes, that's right. Body now ingrained in their minds. It was evil, and to me, it was demonic and painful I like a natural though to look at your loved one laying down like that lifeless Deja Allen's aunt Shanta Collins says Deja was found just three blocks from her home in a wooded area off Scranton Avenue in North St. Louis County we talked with Deja's mother after her disappearance distraught but determined to find her daughter who had just ran to the store for diapers and never came back we actually in the name of Jesus to return Deja to Lord now the heartbreak of finding her body is not the outcome they prayed for where do we get the strength from I don't know, gas to be God. Collins says the tight knit family wants to create a life as normal as possible for Deja's three beautiful children a one year old daughter and a four and eight year old boy. She loved her kids. You know, she loved life. She just started finding her independence where she can, she got her own place and now she got a car. The hardest part, telling her kids. The one year old just unfortunately would never know how beautiful and funny and, you know, her mother was. She would never have her mother hold her hand while she go to kindergarten or preschool or even beat her when she get married or have children, you know? So it's a lot. They took a lot from us. They took her everything from her and everything from us. Well. And St. Louis police are still investigating this now as a homicide. If anyone has any information in regards to this incident, you're urged to contact Crime Stoppers. That number is right here on your screen. They got a Crime Stoppers number for those of you who cannot see. It is 1-800-371-TIPS if you have any information about the situation. Uh, we got to bag it up a little bit because they is confusing me over who is the mama. Shout out to BB. Jay for being a member for two months. Say, Willie, I tell mine to look it up in the thesaurus. Big word. I hear that damn scream. Say, sometimes it's not the, it's not the abridged version. Say, I, I, I'm an almanac. I'm trying, uh, damn it, a rack, uh, acronym. Uh, damn it, I know the word. No, acronym. I'm going to look it up. Don't even worry about it. But, uh, damn it, I appreciate that right there. And you right about that. Listen, again, especially depending on who you came up around, you have been hearing people talk, and people have been talking wrong since you was a child. So as we get up, oh, perfect example, I'm going to throw this out. I used to hear the word ignorant as a child. And then somebody, one of my partners, um, probably when I was 16, 17 or something, they called me ignorant, and we was about to fight. And we're like, dog, it just means that you don't know. Nah, 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 nah. Mess that. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You ain't finna be disrespecting me. 
He say, bro, let me get the dictionary. Let me show you. All it means is you don't know about what we talking about or, or what we're doing. And he literally had to show me. And from that day, I was like, ooh, there's a whole bunch of words that we really don't know the definition to, but we try to understand words according to the sentence that is being used. And a lot of times the sentence be wrong. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes it's good. Even even the words that we think we know, we need to go back and reevaluate what we had them been um, taught out here in these streets. Shout out to BBJ for the ten dollar super chat. Say right. Oh 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 oh. Ar archaic. Uh, I knew it. I knew it. It's just, it's, it's just one popping. Archaic. Oh, ancient. Not widely used. Look at this. Definition for you. I'm trying to tell you. Look, 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 look. Watch this. Family of Deja Allen Watch speaking this. out after the missing mom. Because when they say and a mother is distraught and all this, they turn into a dog of you. But we begin with a light of you. I'm confused on who is the who. <laughs> who is the mom of them? I, I don't know. It was found in North St. Louis County. Fox News Zero Barker joins us live with the family's cry for justice. Zero. Come on, Sarah. Talk Elliot, this is the tragic ending that Deja Allen's family did not want to hear. And tonight, I sat down with them. They tell me they just want answers. Mm -hmm. Whoever did it. And shout her out for her key earring. It's a whole key earring. It's cowards. You know, cowards. On day 10 of searching for missing mother of three, Deja Allen, her family found what they didn't want to find. I will I'll always be able to replay that moment. The mo oh, this is her aunt. Oh, I know I heard it different because I'm like, they showed a Dr. Hugh woman and said her mother. I'm like, oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Moment they found their loved one's body now ingrained in their minds. It was That's a evil. And to me, it was demonic and painful to look at your loved one. Say, so, Willie, that's why I watch your channel. Just so, just so education. I'm trying to tell you something. We got to teach out here in these streets, man. Laying down like that, lifeless. Deja Allen's aunt, Shanta Collins, says Deja was found just three blocks from her home in a wooded area off Scranton Avenue in North St. Louis County. We talked with Deja's mother. That, that's her mama. Okay, Jesus, because I was thrown off. After her disappearance, distraught but determined to find her daughter who had just ran to the store for diapers and never came back. We actually she ran to the store for diapers. Lady, well, hell, I guess we just got to start saying get all your stuff in the daytime. No matter what neighborhood that you're in, because a lot of people will say, well, yes, this is just an upscale community, and that's why it happened. Listen, it can happen in, in any community. You can be snatched up in any community. In Beverly Hills, them too. You could be. It's a possibility that these things can happen. I don't know if people get snatched up in Beverly Hills, but I have to put like a higher, 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 like an upper, upper echelon um, um, thought into your mind of a place the way you may think people's not getting snatched up. And a lot of people think, well, a place like Beverly Hills because it's real expensive and um, people with some change live up there, you know. Don't get it twisted. As long as you live on earth, you can be snatched up. Ladies. Name of Jesus to return Deja to the Lord. You got to ask yourself this question. Um, so they played. They prayed. They prayed to return Deja. <sighs> and sometimes we got to kind of think of how we pray. Because a lot of y'all believe in it. Do y'all. I really ain't tripping. <clears throat> But if you pray and it don't come out how you want it to come out, like if your prayer don't don't come to fruition, like if you're praying for life and it ends up that person is dead, do, do you now believe or now understand that your prayer don't work? I don't, mm, I'm, I'm just finna throw something out to you real, real quick diapers and never came back we ask you in the name of jesus to return deja the lord we ask you in the name of jesus to return deja so some people may say well according to the prayer 
You just said returner. You didn't say returner alive. You know, uh, I'm just throwing something out here because I listen just a little bit different. And my mind do like something different. You know, is it, is it the way they ask? I don't know. Is it the way anybody asks? Are we using the proper words to get our message to Jesus and or the Lord and or whoever your God is? Are we using the proper accent terms? I'm just asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, be ready for your answer. He returned Deja. I'm not, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm kind of like, well, hell, they prayer came to fruition. They just returned her. You know what I'm saying? Say, Willie, is you anti-God? Is this the atheist channel? <laughs> you made it to the right place. I'm not anti-God at all. I like your Christian gods. Now the heartbreak of finding her body is not the outcome they prayed for. Where do we? It's not the outcome that they prayed for, but then that's not true. Because if you really think about it, he returned, your God returned her to y'all, but not how you see. And this is where words come in. That is just my only point. You can believe what you want to believe, but do, do the words that you use and really, really matter when you praying to your, your higher being. And if so, we got to watch how we pray I'm trying to help y'all out. The ones who believe. Yeah, all, all praise to the most high. To the ones who believe, I'm trying to just point out, maybe you have been praying and it has not come to fruition. Maybe because you're not praying properly, you're not using the proper words. I'm just trying to help. Lord. Now the heartbreak of finding her body is not the outcome they prayed for. But that's not the outcome that they prayed for. L listen, listen, listen. Didn't I just make an excellent point? Shout out to I am that guy you know for the five dollar super chat. Say that guy is here, Mobile, Alabama representative. I appreciate that right now. Did y'all just understand? I just pointed out they prayed. The lady on the news said the outcome that they prayed for didn't happen. But it actually did according to the prayer. I know, I know, I know. We know they wanted her to come back alive. I get that part, but we're not talking to us. I'm just asking a question about your gods. I have no idea. Do you have to be like super, super specific? And if so, then y'all need to teach the people around you to speak to, speak to your gods specifically i'm just trying to help me. where do we god. get the strength from i don't know gas to be god say where will we get the strength the strength from but y'all believe that your prayers didn't do anything but you can get your strength from god so you got to pray for strength if you don't pray if you don't put out the right prayer for strength then you would not have strength if it depends on the words that you use. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. I'm just asking for a friend or something. <laughs> I'm just saying. Because I know so many people have this belief. But I'm to the point where I'm half dead, y'all. I'm out of here. I'm 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 off. Damn it, I'm on the down slope according to life expectancy of a dog you play out here in these streets. See, y'all can, like, a lot of people can still play with the faith and the belief and all that. You you can do that. Ain't got a problem with you. You're grown. Dang how I play no more. I used to as a child coming up and all that shit right there until I read it, <laughs> until I studied it, until I debated it, I took the years and years and years and years and, and then just, no, I don't play like that. But yeah, 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 yeah. But shout out to everybody who do. I ain't tripping. I'm trying to help you with your thought process. You can still believe, just make sure if, damn it, if the words got to be specific on how, on how you get your prayers answered, then we need to speak to the gods 
specifically on what you want. Collins says the tight-knit family wants to create a life as normal as possible for Deja's three beautiful children, a one-year-old daughter and a four- and eight-year-old boy. She loved her kids. Yes, she did. You know, she loved life. She just started finding her independency where she can... She just started finding her independency. Shout out to Latonya for the $1 cash shout. Say, educate me, sugar. I'm trying to. I just be wanting people to look outside the box. Listen, you can stay in the box. Just look outside him. Sometime out here in these streets. We supposed to be grown, ain't it? We supposed to be thinkers. Aren't we? Just saying. Well, didn't, didn't your God make you to be a thinker? So you should be a thinker. You can believe it. You can believe what you want to believe, but you should always be a thinker. Just saying. Say, well, I need you in my life midday and evening. I appreciate that right there. Here you she go. got her own place and now she got a car. She heard Stop it. that. She just came into her. her... I want y'all to understand. This is why I listen to words, man. Watch this. Listen, listen. Independency where she Wait, can. Uh -uh. wants to create Back a life up. as normal as possible for Deja's three beautiful children, a one-year-old daughter and a four and eight-year-old boy. One, four, and eight. I just want. Y'all to listen. I'm not trying to clown nobody. I'm not doing that. I want people to listen and see if things make sense. That's all you got to do. You can still be stupid, dumb, ignorant. You can still do all that there after you listen and evaluate some. She loved her kids. She, lo she loved her kids. Got an eight-year-old, four-year-old, and a one-year-old. Listen. You know, she loved life. She just started finding her independency where she can, she got her own place and now she got a car. She, her she just found her independency. She got her own place. She got her own car. That means she just got her own place and just got her own car like recent, recent weeks or months. She has an eight-year-old, a four-year-old, and a one-year-old. She just finding her independency. Shout out to I am that guy you know for the $2 super chat. You say you the man out here and he, he got damn screech. I appreciate that right there. Listen, I'm just trying to help. I'm just trying to help. Shout out to Elaine for the $5 cash shout. Say your biggest fan. I appreciate that right there. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Y'all got to pay attention. I know a lot of things that sound cute. Things may look cute. And then they go back to a lot of times we think that people is doing so great. She say she just found her independency by getting a place to stay in the car. She has an eight-year-old, a four-year-old, and a one-year-old. I'm going to just set that there on you. I ain't even much going to go another further. Shout out to Quincy X for the $2 cash shop. Say, well, damn it. Say, who gave her her independence? There it is. For this part telling her kids the one-year-old just unfortunately will never know how beautiful and funny and you know also a question do she have insurance we speak on insurance over here and this is why li listen listen let me talk to you grandmothers and stuff you need to tell your daughters you need to tell your sons With all the goddamn churn, you better have some insurance. Because who's going to keep the children after you die? Maybe it's auntie, maybe it's grandma, maybe it's a family member. And you can truly help out the people that you leave behind with an insurance policy. I know we don't think insurance is something cute. We think insurance is, is just some way for people to get over on us in okay, case they might not pay. Just read the policy before you get it, before you sign off on it. Say, no insurance, just go fund me. And that's a big problem in itself.
<laughs> you right. Her mother was. She would never have her mother hold her hand while she go to kindergarten or preschool or even beat her when she get married or have children, you know. So it's a lot. They took a lot from us. They took her everything from her and everything from us. Shout out to Christopher for the $3 cash shop. Say, can I get a big word? Ha, <laughs> he got in the street. I appreciate that right there. Look, 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 look. We got to move it right along. I'm not going to, you know, just be the dead horse. I'm not going to do that right there. Well, no, no point in ten. You know what I'm saying? But um, I just want the point. Damn it, because I be hearing stuff. And I'm, I be like, well, you can't say that. Like... And they will champion that. A lot of people, they may champion, oh, you just found your independence. That's what's up. That's a good thing. You just found it. The fuck? What is we talking about? You've been a mother for eight years. Oh, but we wouldn't want to talk like that because then that is beating the mother down. But again, I told y'all we love our children we really do we love them so much to where we will continue to produce children when we could not afford the first one that we love so much we will do that don't no don't get it twisted i promise you we got to move it right along i'm not even much gonna hold y'all listen